<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you get to pick this one up. Well, pick it up. We'll see if you're worthy. It's whack a oh! oh, shoot! Oh, this thing is... Jeez. I am not worthy. Uh, oh, you oh. can take this. Oh. Come on. No. Okay, that was close to my face. This might be a good communication device, break down barriers yeah. between people. Wow. They thought what? Like, who would think to bring something like this along? Maybe Thor is here. Thor? Thor? Oh, no, I think Loki's here. Oh, <laughs> what's in that? I don't know what this is for. You and could, like, hide stuff in hide here? Hide something in there. If you're coming to the airport with this hammer, or, or the Thor hammer, it will not be allowed. Tools greater than seven inches, not allowed. Because that's about how close uh -huh. I don't want to be to him. And this is too big. Too big. <laughs> that is definitely blunt trauma right there. Yeah. Don't carry it on, okay? Check it. So if you go on to the TSA app, then you can type in and see exactly what tools can go, because there are some, like a hammer, no matter how small it is, it cannot go. Or if they, if they don't want to because of the weight, they can also give it to a non-traveling companion. If they do leave it, they are voluntarily abandoning the property, so that means they can't come back on their way back and pick it up. I think if you're bringing this somewhere, you maybe ask Guardian anyway, so you should just use alternate means of travel. The question is, if you hold it up over your head, will lightning appear? Yes. Take it from Nate, please. Take it, take it from Nate right away. 